Hi guys, in this video we're going to go into a bit more detail of the first line of defence being the physical barriers. We're going to recap the three lines of defence, then concentrate on that first line of defence being the skin, mucous membranes, cilia and chemical barriers. The three lines of defence of the body that we remember using the castle analogy. So firstly we have the walls and moat being the physical defence barriers such as the skin. We then have the archers and soldiers being the non-specific response of inflammation and pus. And we then have the spies and assassins being the immune response or acquired immunity. We'll now look at that first line of defense in a bit more detail. So firstly, skin. Skin covers most of the outside of our body and provides a tough coating that is hard to penetrate. So microorganisms can't just jump on the skin and penetrate it. They have to work their way through. Uh, in addition to this, we have glands in the skin called sebaceous glands that secrete an oil called sebum. And there are bacteria that live on our skin. So these are good bacteria that live on our skin. And they actually break down this sebum to create a slightly acidic environment, which is inhospitable to some other forms of bacteria. So we have good bacteria in our skin to prevent bad bacteria or fungi from growing. In addition to this, if the skin is broken, so if you get a cut or a scrape, the blood that comes out of the skin clots quickly, sealing the wound and preventing entry of any pathogens. Where there is not skin covering the body, uh, and there's holes that enter the body, they're protected by mucous membranes. So this is found in the digestive, respiratory, reproductive, and urinary tracts. And these mucous membranes are a thick uh, membrane of mucus, uh, which contains uh, good things such as the antibody immunoglobulin A, uh, which kills some bacteria, and the enzymes lysozymes, which destroy the cell walls of other bacteria. So these uh, bacteria that find their way into the body uh, then have to deal with these chemicals in that mucous membrane. Along with that mucous membrane, we have cilia, which are very, very small hair cells that project from the lining, particularly in the res respiratory system. Uh, so all through the nose, trachea, and bronchial tubes, we have these uh, hair-like cells called cilia. And these are all pointed in a particular direction, that direction being out of the body. These sweep the mucus and any trapped cells. So for example, the bacteria that's got into the respiratory system and has been killed through either the immunoglobulin A or the lysozymes, uh, then gets swept or pushed uh, from wherever it is to the nose opening or the pharynx in the mouth. Uh, so then they get expelled from the body. And finally, some of the other passages to enter the body provide chemical barriers. A good example of a chemical barrier would be the stomach acid found inside the stomach. It is a very low pH, uh, or high strong acid. Uh, so any bacteria that find their way through the alimentary canal down into the stomach are quickly killed by this uh, stomach acid before they can make you sick. Uh, obviously, with all these defense barriers, there are some things that get through these first line of defense and make it to the second line of defense, but we'll look at that in another video. In this video, we've looked at the three lines of defense, the first of which being the physical defense. Uh, that is the skin providing a tough layer that when broken seals itself through the clotting of blood. We have mucous membranes, which have chemicals in them to deactivate bacteria and fungi. We have cilia in the respiratory system that physically pushes that mucus and trapped cells out of the body. And in other places, such as the stomach in the alimentary canal, we have chemical barriers preventing the entry of bacteria or any unwanted pathogens. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.